I bet you didn't know how easy it is to melt copper ingots and coins at home. Welcome to our workshop. Today, we're diving into the fascinating process of melting copper ingots and coins. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, this comprehensive guide will walk you through each step safely and efficiently. Let's get started. Melting copper might sound like a daunting task, but with the right tools and a bit of knowledge, it can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know, from selecting the right type of copper to using the appropriate safety gear. We'll also discuss the importance of safety precautions, such as wearing gloves and goggles, and ensuring your workspace is well ventilated. Safety is paramount when working with high temperatures and molten metal. Next, we'll guide you through the process of setting up your furnace and achieving the correct temperature for melting copper. It's crucial to monitor the temperature closely to ensure the copper melts evenly and efficiently. Once the copper is melted, we'll show you how to pour it into molds to create your desired shapes. Whether you're making coins, ingots, or other items, the cooling process is just as important as the melting. We'll explain how to cool the copper properly to avoid any imperfections. Finally, we'll take a look at the finished products and discuss some tips for polishing and finishing your copper creations. With a bit of practice, you'll be able to create beautiful and functional items from melted copper right at home. So grab your tools and let's get started on this exciting journey into the world of copper melting. First, let's talk about what you'll need for this exciting metalworking project. For this project, you'll require several essential tools and materials to ensure both safety and efficiency. You'll need a reliable heat source, such as a propane or acetylene torch, to melt the copper. A crucible is necessary to hold and heat the metal. Don't forget tongs to handle the hot crucible, and always wear protective gloves and goggles to keep yourself safe from the intense heat and potential splashes. You'll also need a mold to shape the molten copper into your desired form. This is where your creativity can really shine. Finally, fire bricks or a furnace are crucial for containing the heat and ensuring a controlled environment. These will help maintain the necessary temperatures for your project. Now that we have everything we need, let's get started on this fascinating journey into metalworking. Safety first. Always wear your protective gloves and goggles to shield yourself from the extreme heat, flying debris, and any potential splashes of molten metal. Stay safe. Now place your copper ingots and coins into the crucible. Copper melts at approximately 1,984 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,085 degrees Celsius. Ensure your workspace is well ventilated and free from any flammable materials. Once the copper is melted, use tongs to lift the crucible and pour the molten metal into your mold. Ensure you're doing this over a fire-resistant surface to prevent accidents. Allow the copper to cool and solidify in the mold. This process might take a few minutes, depending on the size of your mold and the amount of copper used. Once it's cooled, you'll have your newly shaped copper piece. And there you have it. You've successfully melted and reshaped copper ingots and coins. Remember to clean your equipment thoroughly and store it safely for your next exciting project. Thanks for joining us today. We had a fantastic time showing you the ins and outs of melting copper. It's a fascinating process that combines both art and science, and we hope you found it as intriguing as we do. We hope you enjoyed learning how to melt copper. From understanding the right temperatures to seeing the molten metal flow into molds, it's a skill that takes practice but is incredibly rewarding. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions or tips to share. Your feedback helps us improve and bring you more content that you love. Plus, your comments can help others in the community who are just starting out. And hey, why not share this video with your friends? Let's spread the love for metalworking. Whether they're seasoned pros or curious beginners, there's always something new to learn and enjoy in the world of metalworking. See you next time in the workshop. Thanks for watching. We have plenty more exciting projects and tutorials lined up, so stay tuned. Until then, keep crafting and exploring new techniques.
Your journey in metalworking is just beginning, and we're thrilled to be a part of it.